And now, your first alert five weather. And welcome back everyone to News 5 at 4 on your Monday afternoon. Today, day three in a row of that summertime sizzle, feeling more like August than the middle of June, and certainly enough to break records yet again today in the springs. This is day number two with a record high at 95 degrees. Pueblo, this is our first time breaking a record amidst this current stretch of hot weather. Today's high 102, beating the old record of 101 from 1981. A lot of folks outside visiting Southern Colorado, enjoying the sunshine and the lack of thunderstorms out there today, including in Manitou Springs. A lot of uh, people up and down Manitou Avenue. It is warm out there, so if you're outside at all today, make sure you have plenty of sunscreen on and that you're hydrating frequently. Right now in the springs, we are still at 95 scorching degrees. Unlike over the weekend when we saw some of those Virga showers, it is sunny and clear as far as the eye can see. Pueblo, a similar story, except a little farther south. Some of that haze and smoke from the fire in Arizona, much more prevalent. Air quality down a little bit because of the increase in the smoke. I'm going to show you that modeling here in just a second. Hazy skies with some smoke in Canyon City. Looks like the sensors are down except for wind. Right now, the wind sustained out of the southwest at about 8 miles per hour. You can see in La Junta, it is hot out there this afternoon at 102 humidity all the way down to 6%. And even though we've seen some elevated to near critical fire weather conditions long and east of the interstate today, not sustained enough to warrant the red flag warnings. For now, those remain in place until 8 o'clock tonight for much of the southwestern and western part of the state. And these go back into effect in the same areas tomorrow morning at 11. And these are widespread all across the Four Corners region, which does include the area near Flagstaff. This is right here where that pipeline fire is burning. So you may have noticed the increase in the smoke and the haze today after seeing much clearer air over the weekend. But look what's happening here on the smoke modeling. We expect to see periods of some thick to moderate smoke at times through tonight. Also seeing that from a fire burning in northern parts of New Mexico. I think most of that, though, with the southwest winds will impact the eastern plains. Notice by around tomorrow morning, some of that smoke does begin to thin out, and I think we'll see that trend throughout the day on Tuesday. High pressure still keeping us high and dry, but we've got some changes that we're tracking here at First Alert 5. This upper level low is going to move up and over the departing high. What it does for us is it brings in some windier conditions and a midweek cool down. You'll notice a subtle change in the temperature forecast over the next several days as its highs drop by about five to 10 degrees tomorrow versus what we saw today. And I think the bigger areas that experience the cool down would be for spots along and north of Highway 50 in the springs warming to around 85 degrees on Tuesday for Pueblo. I think we'll top out into the middle 90s. Skies should be generally clear even as the cold front drops in from the north. If we get any moisture in the state, that would be up across the northern mountains where we could see some rain possibly mixed with some snow. Mostly sunny skies, but a bit on the hazy and smoky side on Tuesday. And by Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night, some of that smoke should begin to disperse. Tonight, another really warm night across the region and uncomfortable through the evening hours. Eventually lows down to the upper 60s for La Junta and Lamar, 60 in the Springs and 61 in Canyon City. Take a look at that subtle cool down tomorrow again, most notable for areas north of the Arkansas River Valley, whereas the eastern plains only cooling by a few degrees. So we'll be hazy and windy on Tuesday with those gusts again near 25 to maybe 35 miles per hour. There's that midweek cool down windy Friday and then we start to get some moisture that moves back into the state, possibly triggering some showers and storms by the end of the weekend. For Pueblo, we are dry and we are in the 90s through the upcoming work week. 98 by Friday, 96 Saturday, slightly cooler with a chance of thunderstorms by Sunday and Monday. Canyon City, we've got dry looking weather here, above average temperatures through Friday. And then as we head into Saturday and Sunday, Areas west of the interstate could begin to see some of those showers develop first. Woodland Park, similar story for you. Possibly some thunderstorms with some gusty winds on Friday. And then also daily chances for thunderstorms into the upcoming weekend.